Hey guys, so this is just a bit of an impromptu video, uh, already mucky. Uh, so I've been going through and doing the vacuum hoses on the Freelander. So for a while now I felt like I've had uh, sort of like a slight loss in power. I just didn't really have the same punchiness to the engine that I did before. Um, and the brakes were a bit weird, a bit hard at points. Uh, and I started to sort of bounce the idle. And I thought, well, before ripping the whole engine apart, I'm just going to do the vacuum hoses. So I want to quickly show you guys what I've done so far and then what I've found and what you want to be looking out for. So this is what I've done so far. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. Sorry about the quality of this video, it is just an impromptu one. So I've done the EGR one, so it's this little red hose here. So what I've done is I've taken out the old horrible rubber ones, they were all sort of grimy and degrading, but they were still sealing just about. Um, but I've replaced them with sort of red silicon, I've just gone with red so just they're easier to see and I can identify where my vacuum hoses are. Um, it's nice to sort of colour code things in my opinion, you know, I've got blue hoses for their engine, red for the vacuum and I can use something another colour for something else. So it's just that one there. It starts here and it just hoops around. So if you follow it down, it goes in underneath and it just plugs in underneath there. It's a bit difficult to record, but if you just follow it with your finger, it just goes in underneath. Uh, I've also done the uh, turbo uh, sort of vent feed and I've relocated it up here so it's a bit easier to see. I'm going to replace this because I'm not very happy with it. It's a cheap, horrible, crappy thing. Uh, but this one again, if you just follow it down with your hand, it sort of reaches on the back of the engine and it will curve 90 degrees right at the bottom, sort of underneath here. Sorry if you can't see anything. Um, so I've relocated that and I've put in again the 4mm uh, red and there's sort of three clips as you go down through here. Uh, one goes onto the back of the metal arm that is here and then there's two just on the back of the engine that are white ones just as you're going down here. So just getting them in there and then just relocating it up to here. Uh, and again, sorry about the quality of this, this is just an impromptu one. And then there's another one, let's have a look, where's my hand? Here, that comes out of this T-piece. And that one just hoops around and goes in underneath into there. So I hope that's showing it right now. It just hoops around and goes in right underneath there. And make sure you keep that little metal clip on there. Now there's another one that plugs into here that's not there at the moment. So this is what I found. So this is why I was thinking it was going to be vacuum leak. And what I found is, I hope it shows it on the camera, that is completely worn away to nothing and just that's basically just nothing left in there at all so that's what was causing my vacuum leak so that's something you want to look out for so when you're checking those hoses there that's what you look out for and I've just cut the next piece ready for this so when you're looking at the engine bay you've got the bar that comes across for your brakes it comes across and there's a sort of a little um, sort of bypass valve looking bit and there's your hose connector there where I'm sort of tapping my finger. Now this one comes in underneath all of these pipes here, so it's going to run in underneath these pipes. And where this one is for the EGR, if you follow it down to the end and just move slightly to the right, you'll feel where the uh, end of that one goes. So it kind of comes in very near where this EGR one is. So where the EGR one goes into the engine bay there, just come in and it's just to the right hand side of where that one goes in. So make sure you do one at a time so you don't get those two confused. So if you do the EGR one first, it's the one on the left, uh, the driver's side, and then the, the one that goes into the brakes there goes on the passenger side. But if you just follow that hose down in and around, you'll feel where it ends. Just go to the right a little bit and you'll feel the other end for that other hose. And then it's just going to run from here. You're going to run it in underneath and into there. So I might have a go now and see if I can get it onto the video for you. Okay, so I've got the hose on. It took about three seconds. So goes in here, hope you can see it, this is why I use red, makes it easy to see, and it just runs in underneath these hoses, so you can still see it hopefully here, and coming in through here, and then in underneath here, wraps in under here, and just goes in, like I say, next to that EGR, I, mean, I don't think you'll be able to see it on this camera, which is a bit of a shame, um, but yeah, it's just a really quick impromptu video, sorry the, the quality is not sort of great compared to my usual standard, um, but it's just something I want to sort of let you guys see, um, it wasn't really meant to be like that but yeah when you check all these hoses it's definitely worthwhile doing every now and again if you've got that sort of say slight lack in power slightly jumpy idle maybe and just sort of brakes going hard a little bit uh look for that on all of those pipes so like i say check those ones that i've done it's only four pipes they're super easy to fit they're just push fit um so yeah egr uh turbo vent and then the two coming off the braking system there so just check those and then hopefully that's going to fix your issue so there you go